Uh, first of all, I, I, I would like to raise the issue for all of us uh, and the question, and I try to answer this. Do we have a common language uh, among us to resolve, uh, uh, to move forward, to resolve our planet uh, problems, uh, to resolve current and emerging crises? Uh, I think that this is something what we have to work and from my point of view, I am very much uh, committed to system analysis and I was it was really a type of bread and uh, honey for me reading uh, Frank's uh, paper uh, since uh, the, the first uh, Jay Forrester model I'm really committed to this way of thinking. And I, I, I think that this is something if we will try to use this uh, 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 as a meta language, you know, uh, system analysis, maybe we could find a contribution and somehow find understanding from other disciplines, what we are going to, to talk. And I, it was very clear, you know, I mean, Petra uh, used the life as a system. I mean, this is that type of approach. And uh, I mean, from that point of view, we don't have, uh, I believe, uh, among our uh, self uh, differences, but this is still a, a problem to communicate. The second issue, what uh, we did not uh, uh, touch so far, uh, this is the role of institutions. How institutions influence results of our educational work, uh, are they encouraging? to uh, uh, implement or just uh, make barriers. I, I think about institutions, first of all, of the, what the sense, formal and informal, about new uh, rules, norms, standards. These are the basic institutions, organizations. I, some of them might be the, uh, the have organizational form, but such basic institution, what I am talking is the language. This is the ins basic institutions which help us to communicate with rules, norms, standards, and so on. This is something what uh, I think that we should uh, work uh, on. So anyway, I went through these questions and I have very fast uh, answers. First question, I guess we have some seeds uh, uh, and elements uh, in institutional economics, behavioral economics, you know, to put, you know, particularly the, the work of uh, Eleanor and uh, uh, Vincent Ostrom from Indiana University. I, by the way, this is the first Nobel Prize winner, a uh, uh, woman, you know, and I was very, uh, very lucky to, to, to work with them. And the other um, uh, people uh, connected with the University of Minnesota, I spent 20 years, Professor Kurvich and uh, Vern Rutten, and his Japanese uh, uh, collaborator, Hayami. I mean, they, all well that talking, you know, to find global solution, we need to start up from the bottom, bottom up uh, approach, build the consensus and go step by step uh, forward. So um, the second question, we need to train differently uh, teachers, period. And this is something what we are, dominated, particularly in Europe, you know, this is a basic difference between the American uh, system and, uh, I mean, it's changing in Europe, uh, but still in Europe is too much on knowledge transfer, uh, not enough on building skills and attitudes, you know, the building that type of uh, competency with communication up front. And then the third one, uh, this is something what, how to uh, introduce that type of system thinking, what you were talking already, and this is particularly Petra emphasized. Start classes from kindergarten to university, bringing them to the forest, to the park, to show, uh, okay, this is the, the system we live, and how we are interconnected. This is something what we need to emphasize from the very beginning that we are responsive and building not on the knowledge, but also the attitude of responsibilities. We are part of this. 
this is something uh, what what is missing uh, and but there are some good examples i am impressed with the scottish uh, uh, experience and curricula which now are trying to spread out uh, over europe and then uh, as i mentioned we need to uh, focus more on institutions and i will come back to that issue uh, talking about examples very simple example i mean i how the holistic thinking uh, changed the, uh, the 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 way of acting, because this is something what uh, we want to say. After after uh, transformation, beginning of transformation in Poland, we gave a new institution, big independence of uh, local government, and so we prepared the. Uh, also the, the type of uh, blueprint for uh, with Polish scholars and international uh, for collaboration 91 and then uh, 1990 and then distributed to all uh, local governments uh, regional governments and then a year later we visited them we were surprised in small village at the uh, uh, ancient forest to Hola how they resolve difficult problem uh, uh, of collecting garbage, which uh, somehow destroyed the, the environment, you know, the, the natural capital they live on because agro-tourism was the second. They just selected, this was their initiative, you know, selected for a year for free or garbage because everybody wanted to, to have clean environment around to bring tourists to be attractive and after the one year they had the town meeting and say well do you like how our village our community looks like yes sure okay now we know how much you uh, make garbage from next year we will charge you at the cost so anyway system thinking also and then another example which i was impressed with uh, my colleagues and later friends uh, from Japan, Professor Jun uh, Wei and uh, Tsuneo Tsukatani, they came to Poland in the late 70s because they discovered that many uh, Polish uh, chemical companies are using uh, highly uh, polluted uh, uh, with uh, mercurium uh, coal, uh, and also in some uh, electric power station and to warn them because they made research already in Minamata and they found out how uh, dangerous it is. They were thinking globally, we say, uh, say, well, it's not enough if we will resolve problem in Minamata. In fact, you know, that time was in the 70s was not resolved, but they shared the knowledge. They were thinking globally, you know, we, need, we have knowledge, we need to share, not keeping for ourselves. And later on, I came to, uh, to Japan and then uh, I went to Minamata based on their recommendation. I spent one uh, week there. It was the, the best, the toughest uh, um, lesson of ecology and social sciences, natural sciences, from the people, 10,000 victims uh, of uh, Minamata disease, mercurium poisoning was fighting 20 years with the government to be recognized as victims. Finally, they won, but uh, uh, the polluted bay, the base for their uh, uh, existence uh, just disappeared. Thanks God, they convinced the uh, government and this is something what I would like to say at the end, you know, because we are talking about academia and education, and we need to partner with the government. Finally, after a tough uh, fight, government gave them the land around and they moved to organic agriculture. Do you know what's going on now? Now Minamata is the most sustainable city in Japan and probably worldwide. This is how they learned tough thinking systematically uh, about uh, the environment. And finally, as I mentioned, I had a project in Poland, you oh, know, we, okay. uh, and then in other countries too, I am finishing. Okay. And then uh, we 
prepared uh, these uh, blueprints for sustainable development, that type of holistic thinking. And during the first uh, 20 years, we were able to introduce many elements of, of this, include, and with positive effects like 70-80% uh, reduction of industrial uh, NOx uh, and uh, SO2 pollution, the, the components of uh, acid rains. But uh, that uh, type of institutions we proposed and policies were not reformed. And by year uh, 2015, we came uh, with, uh, I mean, the, the, the conservative government uh, arrived and started destroying yeah. these institutions. So anyway, and now they influence also education. So even if uh, academia will find the way of the solution, we need to collaborate with a government and, uh, uh, and uh, non-governmental organization to introduce these changes. Otherwise, we, we will have that type of disastrous effect because there are more and more history and you know type of uh, um, conservative agenda, which uh, builds nationalism, xenophobia. And so we are really moving back from the progress achieved during the first years. So anyway, uh, education is very important, but we need, and then we need to find consensus among ourselves, but we need to find the political support from government and from the public. And this is something what because of the, uh, the the situation in Poland, you know, and that some other countries like Hungary and the other, we need to really educate not only about science, but social sciences and good citizenship. And this is something what we need to keep in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Zemian. So